In the news tonight, taxi driver killed by his close friend. Um, in the bar, I had some story about some money, and then I get a phone call out by joking. Baby. And police detective sergeant Dion Boscom charged under the Cybercrime Act. As you know, uh, Mr. Boscom faced three charges. Two of them, uh, the virtual complainant is Mr. Caesar, and the other one is Mr. Chubbinat Singh. As you know, Mr. Bascom is a serving member of the Ghana Police Force. He pleaded not guilty to all the charges. Mokarke, the residents, are at a loss for words following an altercation, which turned deadly between two friends. Both men are taxi drivers and work at the Mokka Road entrance. There is Quincy Weeks, 42, of Mokka Arcadia, that reports that the altercation stemmed from an argument over $500. It is alleged that Weeks attacked the suspect and threw a liquid substance believed to be acid on him. The suspect retaliated by stabbing Weeks several times. According to a police report, Weeks and the suspect were at the Mocker Road head plying their trade when an argument started between them over parking of their respective cars. It was then that the suspect armed himself with a knife and dealt Weeks several stab wounds with the said knife causing him to receive injuries and eventually fell to the ground. Four suspected stab wounds were seen on the body of the deceased, two on both hands, one on the left shoulder and the other to the left lower chest. The body was pronounced dead on the scene. Weeks' pregnant girlfriend said she was baffled by the entire incident. She said the two men know each other and were close friends. Um, in the bar I had some story about some money and then I get a phone call out by joking baby. Some change in some thousand dollars, I don't really know the exact story. They was best of friends. So what trigger this motor? I don't know. She said Weeks was the breadwinner and for her to pick up the pieces it will be tough. He was a nice person, a loving and friendly person. He made joke with everybody. The murder took place a stone's throw from the Providence Police Station. Police investigators quickly rushed to the scene and began their investigations into the matter. By this time, the suspect had turned himself into the police and was taken to the hospital to seek medical care. Washi. Hi, people. Washing made so easy since I found Washi. Washing me use wash me clothes and I can say. Wash is so powder, wash clothes so nice. Wash is so powder, leave your clothes color bright. Wash is so powder, leave me clothes smelling nice, of course. So give thanks for wash is so powder for doing my laundry in right. Keep my clothes color bright. Have my clothes smelling nice for sure. I could not ask for more. Comes in lemon and original. It is a washing machine in a pack. Wash is so powder, wash clothes so nice. Wash is so powder, leave your clothes color bright. Wash is so powder, have my clothes smelling nice, of course. Distributors located in the Starbrook market. You don't leave anything to chance. Every day you click it, lock it, and mask up. Now press, rub, and wash with Sterling Super Soap. Our antibacterial formula eliminates 99.9% .9 of all germs and bacteria. Clean and moisturize your hands with four refreshing and rejuvenating fragrances. Get super clean with Sterling Super Soap. Laughter is the best medicine to relieve some of your stress. Cigars and Cognac, Eco Bar and Launch presents Comedy Tuesdays. This and every Tuesday featuring Chow Pao, Mark Edwards and others. If that's not enough, come sing your heart's content at our Karaoke Wednesdays. Every Wednesday is a song-filled Wednesday with lots of prizes to be won. Or enjoy our Cocktail Thursdays, the Cigars and Cognac Way with over a dozen mixtures to choose from. Buy one cocktail and get the other one free with entertainment provided by Gully Rats. Yeah. 
Don't waste another Friday night. Kickstart your weekend at Cigars and Cognac. Champagne City. Bottle special all night on Moet and Belay Rosé. As top DJs entertain the house to keep the vibes pumping as the champagne flows. This and every Friday. Champagne City. Come enjoy the vibes at your favorite entertainment spot. Laugh. Have a beer. Enjoy mouth-watering cutters at Cigars and Cognac. For reservations, call 67. Seven eight four seven nine two. Detective Sergeant Dion Boscom today appeared in the Georgia Magistrates Court charged under the Cybercrime Act. The charge came after Boscom's public outburst on social media where he accused senior police officers of attempting to cover up the Ricardo Fogondes murder. When the matter was called before Chief Magistrate Anne McClellan, Boscom was charged with using a computer system to humiliate a person contrary to Section 19.5 of the Cybercrime Act No. 16 of 2018. The two complaints were filed by Deputy Superintendent Michel Caesar and Chabinot Singh. Boscom pleaded not guilty to all three charges and was granted $300,000 bail. His attorney Nigel Hughes said the police prosecutor opposed bail. As you know, uh, Mr. Boscom faced three charges. Two of them, uh, the virtual complainant is Mr. Caesar and the other one is Mr. Chabinot Singh. As you know, Mr. Bascom is a serving member of the Guyana Police Force. He pleaded not guilty to all the charges. And would you believe that the prosecutor asked that a serving member of the Guyana Police Force be denied bail and remanded? They opposed bail. Um, they said he was a flight risk. When the court inquired why he was a flight risk, uh, the prosecutor, Mr. Moore, told the court that he had a passport with a visa. So we indicated to the court that several Guyanese have passports with visas and that does not automatically make them a flight risk. Mr. Moore then said that uh, he understood they had received information that he was asking around for money to leave the country. When the magistrate inquired of Mr. Moore which country he had a visa for and which country he was attempting to go to, Mr. Moore said he had no such in, he had no information on the country or the country for which he had a visa. The matter was adjourned to September 21st. Pro Media Professional Live Streaming Service. Experience the difference when it's live. Pro Media provides you a complete range of live and demand streaming solutions, no matter what your special event may be. Weddings, funerals, concerts, press conferences, conventions, seminars, workshops, meetings, religious events, and more. For more information, call 669-5376 or 609-5264. Experience the difference when it's live. It's here! Igloo Ice Cream Fruit Bars. Four mouth-watering flavors. Mango, pineapple, strawberry, and soursop. A beautiful combination of real fruit and igloo ice cream. Go old school with fluty popsicle. Classic flavors and refreshing goodness. Available at Igloo Outlets and all your favorite shops. Running late and can't wait to the gate? We got you. 
The Guiana Public Service Cooperative Credit Union Limited has introduced a fast and easier way to make payments to your accounts through the GT&T mobile money services. Here's how. Click on the MMG app. Under Services, select Pay Bills. When you are there, look for the Financial Institution option. Once that is done, select Guyana Public Service Cooperative Credit Union Limited to pay your loan or make payments to your savings. Payments to the credit union made easier. GPS CCU, the credit union you can bank on. Attorney at Law Nigel Hughes has since instituted private criminal charges against Crime Chief Wendell Blanham. Hughes, who is representing Police Sergeant Dion Boscom, said the charges were filed under the Cybercrime Act. Private criminal charges have been filed against Mr. Blanham under the Cybercrime Act. They were filed today, uh, in which Mr. Blanham is accused um, of humiliating Mr. Boscom under the same Cybercrime Act. As you are aware, he had said that Mr. Bascom was lying when he said he took uh, Killer into the police station and there were subsequent publications by Killer, forgive me, I can't remember his name at the moment, and his lawyer saying that it was Mr. Bascom who took him in and as a consequence of that, this is the first of other charges that will be filed against Mr. Blanham. It is expected that Mr. Blanham will be in court on the 21st because his matter has been put down for the 21st by the magistrate. Boscom was charged following the submission of the RSS report investigating the Fogundes murder. The report noted that Boscom's decision to make these live streams was in contravention of Section 195A of the Cybercrime Act No. 16 of 2018 of the Cooperative Republic of Guyana. For these and other stories, do visit us at our website www.rdproductiongy.com.